Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect this GR640 CAM1 Roland cutter uh, to a network via a router, okay? Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because it has been a little bit complicated uh, for me uh, to connect this, uh, uh, print, uh, this cutter to the uh, network and the uh, reason being that there's just a little bit of mis- uh, information right, in the way that this uh, printer is supposed to be connected most especially when you're connecting via a router when you're not connecting uh, directly to the computer but via a router on a network okay so I had a little bit of a problem and uh, every time I try to install this uh, uh, every time I try to connect this uh, Roland cutter here I could get this uh, error let me just show you what the error is uh, perhaps maybe that's the thing that you're also uh, that's the situation that you're also going through so as you can see here uh, this is my uh, vessel wax and uh, I try to connect this uh, uh, cutter I, I uh, follow the uh, supposedly a proper way of doing it I know it's connected to the uh, my network and I know the IP address that I've given it uh, so I come here and I select IP TCP IP address uh, as an as a way of connection uh, try to enter my uh, IP address you can, as you can check there 192.168.1.109 which is the IP address that I've given to the uh, to the cutter and when I try to verify I get that error of supposedly a warning device not found or status not acquired correctly from the device and I've spent days trying to get this machine uh, connected to my network and I could not figure out a way to do this okay so what's the problem let's go back to the uh, to the machine and uh, try to make some uh, uh, confirmations of uh, some stuff that we need to make sure that they are in the right place before we can connect first things first you must have your network cable connected to your machine and the orange light should be flickering in some way or the other to show that there's uh, network connection going network communication going on between your machine and your router so this cable is connected into the machine and on the other side it's connected into my router number one that is solved okay so number two you come to your machine and then we are going to make sure that our network settings on the machine corresponds to our network corresponds to our network so the thing is we need to figure out what the IP address here is and make sure that that IP address is still in the range of our uh, network uh, IP range so uh, we go to the uh, we go to menu we click menu twice and then we uh, go down uh, system info and then we select system info we go down to uh, interface first of all we need to make sure that interface network is the uh, correct interface that is set okay so uh, what we do there is uh, if you find that it's not network then we need to change but let's say uh, it was USB uh, let's uh, if it was USB you press the down arrow to network and then press enter to make sure that network is selected all right and then that's the interface we go back to the interface we go um sorry let's go back we are in the interface network usb oh sorry about that we're in the interface and then we click here to go to the ip address we select the ip address and then make sure that uh, you have the ip address that is in the range of your network so my ip address is 192.168.1.109 Okay, and I'll show you how to figure out what your IP range or your network IP range, how to figure out your network IP range given your router. But given the fact that now you're connecting to the router, I believe you know uh, what your IP range is. But in my case, it's 192.168.001.019. Okay, so if it's not the case, then you can play around. You can select it and then play around with your IP and set it. Uh, in the way that uh, you, you wish okay so another thing that we need to do uh, let's go back and uh, let's go back to IP address you need to figure out or oh, let's go back to the IP address we go to the subnet 
you need to make sure that your subnet is uh, 255, 255, 255, because this is the same subnet that my uh, router is set to. So you confirm those uh, two things and then enter. Anyway, I'll make a video about how to set the IP address on the machine. But as long as the subnet is the same as your router subnet and the IP address is within the range of your IP net um, your network range, your network IP range, then you're good to go. So the hardest part or the most confusing part that was giving me a problem was the part where I had to get the printer onto the computer. So when I was setting up uh, when I was setting up the printer on the computer, this process worked. I TCP IP and then I gave the printer IP address. It worked. But when it comes to the cutter, for some reason, this uh, uh, this process doesn't work. What works is you need to set the cutter from the driver. So that means you need to have already installed the cutter drivers onto the onto the um, uh, the, the, the computer first before you try to before you try to uh, uh, connect the cutter to the computer so i had to download those drivers uh, and uh, i'll get to the website where i got the drivers from so that's the link i'll also put it in the description http startup roland dg come one slash gr slash g and blah 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 and then i had to download uh the the drivers okay this is the drivers so i downloaded them I brought them to this computer because it's not yet connected to the internet. We're still in new shop and we're still waiting for our internet service provider to give us our network uh, <coughs> internet connection. So I had to bring it via USB to this computer here. And when we go to the USB, uh, da, 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 let's go to the USB quickly. Let me first close this, minimize. And when you go to the USB, this is the drivers. Um, this is the driver after being, uh, uh, unzipped this is the drivers here so I had to go to the win uh, 64 because my uh, uh, my operating system is a 64 bit uh, operating system and then I had to go setup and then on setup you run that drivers this is where you set the IP address for the cutter not really from the vessel works you set it from here so I click install and then here I select the machine that I want to install. That is the DG, uh, sorry, the GR640. And then here I select the port. The port is not USB. I'm going to be using network. Okay. So if you haven't, because I already set it, it will be here. But if you haven't set it, you click IP address and then you go start. Then here you provide the IP address we got from the machine. Remember the IP address we got from the cutter? You provide it from here. You create an IP port from the within the drivers, not within Vasoworks. That's where the problem was. That's where I was having a problem. You create the IP address within the drive uh, the driver setting, and then after you do that, since I've already set it, I'm not going to set it again. Uh, after you do that, uh, um, it will uh, the setup will be finished. Once the setup is completed. Then you can go back and open your Vasoax. You create, you open your Vasoax. Application is already running. Okay, uh, it's already running somewhere. Uh, you open your Vasoax and then come to printers and then printer settings. And then from here, you don't try to set the IP address using this uh, TCP IP you um anyway let's first uh, try to put a new one you create you, uh, you press on the uh, add button it's already selected instead of adding the ip address here which is the mistake that i was doing you come to the printer drivers and select the drivers you see i installed these drivers twice already but any one you choose anyway would uh, uh, pull out your cutter uh, machine so if I press on verify, you can see now I get the cutter machine. The GR640 is within my VersoWorks. Now I can apply and then I can say OK. And there we go. The machine is added into my VersoWorks. So this is a long video, but I hope it helps you. I hope you uh, find a solution into this video because uh, it gave me stress and headache for almost two, three days. 
trying to get uh, my GR640 into Virtual X. Uh, but uh, if you were having that same problem, uh, the problem was not uh, the machine itself, but the problem was the fact that the way to add it is completely different from the way I added, I managed to add the RF640 printer. So if it helped you guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. On this channel, we normally uh, get all these uh, small, small problems that uh, normally give us daily headache and uh, put them here for records so that you guys don't have to go through the same hassle that we go through to find the solutions. If it helped you, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share it. Don't forget to like it. And peace. That's it for today. Peace. I'm out.